Welcome back to the show. I am Kachi Ophia and you're watching Arise 360. Now there is a popular saying, children are the leaders of tomorrow, right? But have we ever stopped to just think how a child's environment influences how they grow up to become what they want to be. Well, today we have a very beautiful young lady, Simutola Olutola, who has chosen to rise above the situations in her environment and be the person that she was created to become. Welcome to the show. Olam Simisola Olutola, amazing to have you. You look so pretty. I'm so like jealous Thank right you. now. I'm like, oh my goodness, why am I dressed like this? But anyway, so let's get to know you, Simisola. Tell us about yourself. Well, my name is Simisola Olutola. I was born 2005. I'm 13 years old. I'm a student of Mastersville. I'm in SS1. Wow. Science department. So. That's really nice. Oh, I love your smile as well. So what's it like, you know, what, um, when you think of yourself, you're, in, you're a science student right now, what would you want to be when you grow up? Well, when I want, what I want to be when I grow up, I want to be a musician, an artist. But when I wanted to choose a department, I was just like, mm, I know I want to be an artist, but, you know, I'm also craving to be something else. Like, I think that science departments really opens up a lot more to than arts. Okay, okay, that's amazing. So, you said you want to be a musician. Why, yeah. why, why do you sing? I mean, some of your mates are probably doing something else. They don't, I mean, I sing, but you don't want, you don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> so, for you, why, why do you sing? Well, I sing because music is my passion. I don't see my voice, I see my voice as a talent, but I see myself using that voice as a passion because when, you know, anytime I sing, I feel comfortable to myself. And anytime I see people singing on TV, I feel like, wow, they're really sending this kind of message. Because I see music as this strong medium of communication that one can send to his or her environment, especially here in Nigeria, where we are faced with female child education. Now, exactly, talking about female, you know, the girl child education, it's something that we're all really passionate about. You know, there's some, would you believe me if I told you that there are some parts of this country where girls are not even allowed to go to school, where they can't even have an education, and it's something that we have to fight for. So when you think of things like that, how does that make you feel? Seeing as you're a girl yourself, you're a science student, you're an SS1, I mean, what do you think, you know, we should be doing about this? It's a real issue. Well, I think that, firstly, girl-child education is very important to the society because not only does females are, like, even more populated than males. <laughs> if females are given the chance of education, it will be a very big advantage to our society because, you know, our children are the leaders of tomorrow. Children include both male and females. So it's very important for us for to... For us to have a balance, basically. If the male is going to school, the female it's should also be in school as well. School. Amazing. So now you mentioned something about the society that we live in Nigeria. You see, one thing I love about Nigeria is we live in a very dynamic nation. Nigeria is where you find the great, great stuff, and then you could find the other end of the stick as well. So I'm thinking, as someone who is, you know, growing up in a time like this, we're about to get we're getting closer to the elections, things like that. If there is one thing, you're just looking around from your own eyes, from the eyes of a 13-year-old, and you're saying, oh, I wish I could change this about this country. If I had a magic wand, I'm definitely changing this. What would it be? What would you change? Well, as a child, through my eyes, I would definitely change Nigeria's system of education. <laughs> Why would you change the system of education? Because I'm a child, I see other children, I want, um, you know, Nigeria, we need to, like, since we are not that developed yet, we need to um, bring our boundaries, we need to, you know, get everything going. I want our future to be great, and our future starts from the children. That's why I want all children to have an equal opportunity to education, because, you know, if, they are, if all children are given education, they are all grown up, it can really develop Nigeria. I know, imagine if all the kids in Nigeria just had, you know, access to education, you know, everybody could amazing. go to school. That would be amazing, right? Yeah. Okay, now, I'm really inspired by you, Simisola, because, first of all, you sing better than I do. <laughs> and second, you're singing a song that 
speaks of what we're talking about, you know, rising up from the ashes. So you're singing a song called Arise, and you know, this is Arise, first of all, that's a plus. Yeah. So tell us about that song, you know, that's what you're going to be singing for us today. So tell us about Arise. Um, Arise is a song that I really love to sing because it talks about, like you said, rising from the ashes, just going through every obstruction in life, not letting anything bring you down, just like, I want to go there, I'm going to go there. I, like us children now, like, not only for children, but for adults, everyone, if they have a goal in life, you should just get it. And anytime you fall, just rise up. Rise up. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I know you're loving Imisola, but I'm going to have to bring her back to you in just a second. Stick around on Arise 360. When we return, we'll be inspiring you to rise up once again. Don't go anywhere. This is Arise 360.
That was amazing. So I really have to ask you, Simi, how do you feel? You know, you just did that amazing song. How do you feel right now? I feel very good. You feel very good? Very All good. All right, well, she's definitely going to rise, and so are you. This is the Rise 360. We're going to go on a really quick break, and we'll be right back. Keep on watching.